Okay, so we just got to the house that we actually bought. I told you guys a while back that we bought a house and sorry this is shaky. I'm just like, it's the tripod and I forgot my other one. So it is what it is. But we're gonna work on taking the material from this house today. We're gonna take what we can. I plan on taking the floors, the walls, and possibly some of the ceiling. So we're just gonna work as long as we can. We do have to do some running today, but I'll take you guys along as we go. My camera battery just died so i'm gonna film the rest of this on my phone because i all my camera batteries are dead i haven't vlogged in a while and my charger is actually at my mom's house so we have to go get that tonight but we just finished tearing down this wall and we got so much material we didn't take those boards just because they were water damaged and some of them are warped the ones on the ceiling if we take them i don't know if we're going to but if we do then we'll just cut the ends off that are water damaged but we got all this lumber and we're having to use lights like this and headlamps just because it is so dark in here. Like it's dark outside today. There's no electric and in this house and the, well, there is, it's ran, but it's just not on. They don't have it turned on. Nobody lives here, but there's just like this cool little cubby next to the fireplace. And then this is the stairwell down. So this is how we're going to have to get the boards out because they're too long to turn to get anywhere. So we're just going to have to drop them down but the fireplace is so neat rock and we found a lot of signatures like but some of them we can't read one of them i took a picture of and it was in a piece of board and batten and it said 1910 but i couldn't read the name it's just like scratch but there is a signature right there i don't know if you can tell and i have no idea what it says but it's just too dark but we're gonna try and get all of this and we have been trying to fight waspers and yellow jackets the entire time we've been here i think we're actually going to be taking these floors also probably all the floors if we have time and if we can get to it because this house is going to get tore down in the spring and this is the only day we have this week to work on this because we have we're doing blowing insulation one day this week and we're cleaning up with the skid steer one day this week so we have to go get the skid steer tonight and then we're going to work on cleaning it up but this floor like it's in pretty good shape and the house is just poorly built like and i hate it we were talking about it that is so crazy that we actually considered buying this at one point and it's like why did we ever consider it because it, there's no plumbing there's no running water in this house there's barely electric and it's just falling apart like the floors you can tell that there's the floors are not soft like the floors they're not rotted or anything it's just a lack of supports under like braces so every time you walk it literally moves the entire floor that room over there it is also hanging group so we're gonna be taking that but we'll take what we can because behind the wallpaper there is a lot of waspers and yellow jackets so we're gonna have to figure that out but this house is just so neat and i hate it that it's gonna be getting tore down
this wall right here, we pretty much cannot get the wood off of. This right here, they've put up with like super large nails and it's not even tongue and groove. It's like six inch tongue and groove. Well, it is tongue and groove, but it's the six inch boards. It's not like the board and batten look. Ceiling, I'm really not sure how we're gonna get it down. And plus we're, we don't know what's gonna fall on us. There's an access space right there. I don't know if you can see. So we started taking down this wall and we've gotten about halfway done with it. And we think it's because it's on an exterior wall and it is not insulated at all. Like there's no insulation whatsoever. And we think that's why, but the boards are literally just like cracking and busting. just started throwing down all of the tongue and groove out the window and we got it loaded on the trailer. Now that we have the room cleared out a little bit, we're going to try and start taking up this wood. So far, it's going awesome, but we're going to get back to work and I'll show you guys what we get done when hopefully if my phone does not okay, die. Okay, so this is where we are stopping for the day and we left this little bit of board right here just so that we could get to this wall whenever we come back if we need it because this wall is going to be the worst probably to get just because there is some insulation behind it and it's really nasty.
So the next day, my parents ended up going back over to the farmhouse with us and helping us get the material that we needed. We ended up getting all the board and batten that we needed and all of the hardwood floor that was salvageable. So we ended up getting all that we could on the second day. So now we, there's no need to go back to that farmhouse. We got all the material that we needed. As you can tell, we took pretty much everything that was left. In the upstairs especially, there was nothing at all left salvageable. Since they were with us, I didn't really vlog this day just because I was trying to get as much done as I could and vlogging really slows you down so that's why there's not many clips from this second day. Okay, so I know this is the first time that I've been on today, but we've gotten a lot done. We're back at the farm and we are loaded down, but we got the truck stuck. So now Ben is about to try and pull me out. He's right there. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, so we got the truck stuck and it is four wheel drive, but the ground is just so soft. It has been pouring the rain all day and it just cleared up for a little bit, but we're trying to work on all of the outside stuff just because it is so nice outside. So we're kind of holding off on the blowing insulation. Hopefully you can hear me over the truck, but this is our load that we got today and this is the last of it. A lot of it is beadboard and then the few top boards are planks for the, that will be the kitchen floor. And then we got the rest of it piled up over but here. Now we need to go get the gooseneck trailer and go get the skid steer so that we can clean out the barns tomorrow because we were gonna do it today, but ended up needing to go and finish getting the stuff from this house. So now that all that is done, we should be able to go get the skid, skid steer and do clean out the barns tomorrow. So that's the plan for now. But it's gonna be dark by the time we get back and whenever we unload this wood and we don't have lights out here at the barn. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog, but thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys will like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.